Okay, what we have here is a pretty standard database like you might have made in year eight. A date, a time, a patient, and a doctor. Uh, if we look at the tables associated with that, we can see those four fields. This is the only table there, and this is a flat database, nothing else, flat. So to make this into a relational database, this will be characterized by, as we look at the tables here, we've got one, but we would want to know more about our doctors. So I've made another table there. And our patients. So let's make another table while we're at it. Okay. Now let's have a look at our doctors. So we've added doctors because you need to know a lot more about your doctor than their name. You know, we need to know... Uh, First name, uh, second name, lots of other things we want to know. What they're good at, speciality might be very important to match patients to doctors. And hey, let's even stick a photo of them. Photos go in, I think, the container. Uh, they will even work out their date of birth, which is a date. And any extra notes that we have. Okay, so we've made this table and you can see up there in the top left we can change the forms and here's the form also actually made in this table. It doesn't need to look fancy, this is just purely functional but we can add some records. So let's go ahead and add a few doctors. Okay, Dr. Belope. Who's good at feet? Awesome. Okay, and then we'll go and quickly add some more detail to that. And I'm going to make a few other doctors. We'll do that in fast forward because this is going to get very boring. Okay, so I filled that in for four doctors now. Uh, that's enough to get going for now. So then I'm going to go back on to manage database and I'm going to look at my doctor table and there's one extra thing I need. I need the doctor ID. This is actually very important. This is the number that I'm going to link to the original table, I can get the computer to automatically generate an ID number for me. So there's that option. And there you can see doctor ID number four on that one. Then I'm going to go to patients. And I can pretty much do the same thing for patients. This is a medical practice and there will be lots and lots of things I would like to know about my patients. So I'm going to type in all the stuff you would collect when you register your patients. Full name, surname, address, date of birth, medical history, medication, anything you can think of. Right, this would probably already be in a medical database. Yeah, so that's my list of patients complete. And I've entered some with a little bit of detail just for testing. And if I go back to my tables, I can see in the patient's table, I've used patient ID, which is an automatically generated serial number. I did the same in doctors. And now I have these two ID numbers that can link together with the main table. And you can see that I've got patient and doctor ID in those. Right, now if I click on relations, then I can see my three tables. And what I need to do now is to tell it that Doctor ID in one matches Doctor ID in the other. They don't have to have the same name. I've given them the same name just to make it easy. And that patient ID matches that patient ID. Okay, now we have relationships between the tables and it's now a relational database. So now if I go back to my main form and I've got rid of the old data and I'm now editing the layout. This is where I can do some of the clever stuff. 
that on those ID numbers, I'm going to change it to a drop down list, which will be able to look up the things in my related tables. So I'm going to select where's this list going to come? Okay, so I'm going to select uh, where to get it from. I'm going to use values from field and because it's doctor's ID, I'm going to look in my doctor's table. I need to click doctor's ID because that's the thing that links them together. But I'm also going to pick a second value so we know which doctor it is. And we'll pick surname here. And actually, I'm only going to show the surname. So I'm going to say sort values using second field. Just going to sort by surname. But no, I'm just going to only show the second field. Okay. I'll just keep clicking OK. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the patient ID. I'll make a new list and I'm going to put the ID number and the surname again. And I'm actually going to show the two. Okay, now if I go back to my form and just save it, let's see what we've got. If I click on the doctor ID, there we go. We can click doctor here and it knows that's number two. Patient ID, I've left the number in and our patient is Regan. And we now see that because it's a relational database, we are able to select things from a different table. I remember that other table has all the useful details in it. So I'm just adding a bit of data here. So one of the nice features when you have a relational database is you can add a thing called a portal. So if I go insert portal, I want it to be based on the data from patients. Uh, I'm only actually interested in one row of data. You can have multiple, but I just want to know that one patient. And I need to select what data do I want to see. And I'm going to go crazy here. And I'm going to say all of it. And press OK. And you can see it's added a little portal there. So what I need to do with this portal is I need to basically rearrange my screen a bit. I need to take that portal box and you can see the data is kind of just squidged up in it a bit. If I make that a bit bigger, I've made like a little portal window and I'm going to arrange it nicely. I've made the photo a bit bigger, put the details next to it, the name at the top. Kind of nice and if I look at my database now I can see that that portal has shown me all the extra data I put in about patients okay and I'm going to do the same thing for the doctor information so I'm going to edit layout, I'm going to insert a portal, again I just need one row of data based on the doctors this time, and yeah, stick it all in, oh, we don't need the ID number, so I'll show that way, and there we go, and then I'm going to do the same bit of magic reformatting again. Okay, so now if we look at the final one, we can see that for each appointment, I can see details about the patient and details about the doctors. Let's just add a new one, just check it's all working. We've added that patient, we've got Dr. Hare, yeah, we've got a date and the time, and we're all fully booked. The working medical center, yay.